in today's lesson, we're going to evaluate your opinions of biomass because there is actually a biomass facility near here, okay, in the northeast of England. We're going to be describing and explaining what biomass is. We're going to be looking at some statements about biomass and you're going to be analysing them and see what you think. Okay, and finally, we're going to de decide whether we think biomass is a good fuel to be used, okay? So can I have two volunteers to hand up some sheets, please, to start off the lesson? My name's Lauren Jardine. I'm a physics teacher at Monks Eaton High School. So I'll play it through once for you to have a look, and then we'll play it again for you to get some key facts, okay? Okay, well, today I used the video that you provided to teach a lesson about biomass with my students. We basically completed a worksheet where they were finding information out from the video and using it to produce a small web article. an interesting question. <laughs> I think it's a very, very dif difficult concept to grasp the, the fact that there's this thing called energy and there's all these different types of it. So the fact that we can't create energy as well for them is a very, I mean, they're always used to generating electricity, but the thought that we can't create it or we can't destroy it is very, very strange for them. They've always grown up saying, thinking that it creates electricity where it doesn't, it just transfers it. Biomass is the production of electricity through using a renewable fuel. So it could be anything from um, the pips that you get in olives, woods classed as biomass. You can get liquid fuels. It's basically any clean fuel that you can use to burn to produce energy and power. It is er, like a renewable fuel which is good for the environment. And what did you know about that before? Not much, just that uh, it's better than fossil fuels to use because they don't run out. I think they didn't realise how much non-renewable, how much we, d we depend on non-renewable energies. I think they thought that we use things like hydroelectric a lot more than we actually do. The biomass station takes in 320,000 tonnes of wood per year and we get 160,000 tonnes of wood chip. 80,000 tonne of logs, 80,000 tonne of recycled. I did know that we could use it, but like I said, I didn't know we could use it at that kind of scale. I didn't realise it was used so successfully at that, that level. We burn 40% recycled wood, uh, and when I say recycled wood, it's the wood that you send to your local council tips. What did you just learn about biomass from that video? I learnt what biomass is. It's like the use of trees to um, burn to make electricity. Fantastic. It's good for the environment because it's green, so it uses wood, which is in the environment. So, and it gives out carbon dioxide as well, Excellent. and uses carbon dioxide. So, so it is good for the environment. Yeah. Fantastic. Do we have anyone else who'd like to add anything onto that? Come on, Dominic, you're itching to say something. I know you are. Carbon neutrals when it's like they burn off the carbon dioxide, but then the carbon dioxide will go in the trees and help them grow. So it's just kind of like a cycle. Okay, fantastic. So what does that say about the environment? That they're not really doing much damage to it. Okay, excellent. What is biomass? What have we learned? What is biomass? Anyone got a <laughs> quick definition for what it is? Is it when trees in scrap wood are burnt to make electricity? Excellent, yeah. Okay, so it's burning trees and, and the scrap wood to make electricity. Do we just burn? What else can we burn? What else can we burn in this process? Anything that's uh, clean fuels. That you can burn. What does carbon neutral mean? I know, I know Dominic gave us something about it before, but can anyone else remember what carbon neutral meant? Is that when uh, the carbon dioxide that comes from the plant goes into the trees that helps them grow? Like, so it's a, like renewable. How much carbon dioxide is being given off overall in this process? None, because it's like the, that, the stuff that's emitted is getting taken in by the trees. Excellent, brilliant. So it's balanced overall. Fantastic. We're going to move on to the second side of the sheet now and have a look at those statements. So I've put five statements on there. Some of them I've, 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 I've bent the truth a little bit. Okay, some of them are true. Can you have a read of those five statements and decide what you think is correct and put you... And so I want you to respond to what these people have said. What's happening with our fuels at the minute? Never run out. Yeah, we're going to run out of fossil fuels soon. And I think a lot of people don't understand how their energy is produced, how much pollution we're making with these fossil fuels. And a lot of people, I think, don't realise that it's going to run out soon. We're just using everything we've got instead of thinking about it and thinking, well, we could use this instead. And it would probably be better for the planet and the environment that we live in. Well, the good things about fossil fuels is that, it, well, it does its job really well. And it, but the bad points are like it's going to run out really quick. We're wasting them at the moment and like we're running low on them and they're going to be gone within the next 100 years or so. And then after that there's no more. Instead of just wasting it all off we could like interpret, in, 
yeah, like use it for better things instead of wasting it on everything we've got. Like use the things like biomass and that for powering cars and stuff, but then using the fossil fuels for more important things. So what about the second one? So burning recycled wood is good for the environment. Do you yeah. think that's right or do you think that's wrong? Yeah, yeah, because the CO2 that's emitted is good for the trees and helps them grow. And it's like it's none that's bad for the environment. Yeah. Well, carbon neutral is basically what the, all the gases that come off, which is CO2, the trees absorb it and it's good for them to grow. This process produces carbon dioxide, so it can't be carbon neutral. What do we think of that? Um, it can be because carbon dioxide is needed for something to be carbon neutral. What process is it that uses the carbon dioxide? It ah. takes in the carbon dioxide. It's where the tree takes it in and then converts it to oxygen. It does, yeah, what's that process? I don't remember. It begins with a P? It's not photosynthesis. Yes, it is, yeah, it's photosynthesis. <laughs> Excellent. One of the big things I think that was definitely noticed through the lesson was the idea of something being carbon neutral. They do know about carbon dioxide and they know about uh, photosynthesis and all these different processes. Putting it together was quite a big, a big thing for them because I don't think they realised how much pollution is coming out of these power plants. And the idea that it is carbon neutral, the idea that it balanced out is a big thing. It's, I mean, it's a big thing for our future because with global warming and all the incidents that are going on, we need to think about this kind of thing and the next generation need to be informed about it. You wouldn't think of wood to be anything else but a heat source, like for wood stoves and things. It is good for the environment, but mm -hmm. it's still letting out carbon dioxide. What would happen to this wood if we didn't burn it? What would we do with it? Recycle it. What do we tend to do with our, with our waste? If you throw away some cardboard, what, do you do? What, what happens to your cardboard? Normally, if you just chuck it in the um, bin? It gets either recycled or put through a landfill. Yeah, into a landfill, okay. So, definitely, as long as we're using it for something, we're using it for a useful process. Like, when we're talking about energy, it's being reused yeah. for something useful. So it is good for the environment. Yeah, so it is good for the environment, okay. Rather than us dump the waste kitchen units in the landfill, yeah. we're doing something productive with the materials. Yeah, excellent. Sustainability is incredibly important. If we wipe out the trees in 20 years time when our kids need energy and they need electricity, what are we going to do then? So do you think that uh, it's sustainable because we'll never run out of trees? What do you think about that statement there? You get True. sustainable forests, which are like once they cut down the tree, you can plant mm -hmm. a new one. Excellent, yeah. So it's not too hard, like, but if you can get them older trees that take like 250 years to grow or something, yeah. and you can't really replant them and like, without them taking ages to grow again. Definitely, yeah, they'll take forever to grow. What about, what if we, um, well, you know that the fossil fuels are running out, yeah. okay? So we need something else to generate our electricity. Do you think we'll be able to use this process to supply all our electricity? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? So you think it'll be okay? Okay. Yeah, they said there that there's enough to supply five power stations, five biomass power stations. Okay. Just of wood. Just with wood in the local in, in the northeast. And then okay. we can have loads more for different other things, which would power us perfectly. Might do. But what ha what happens when this? It would take a lot of wood. No, what but happens like not just supply? not just wood, but like have one sort of biomass fuel. Yeah. Okay. We could do that. Yeah. What happens when we reach the point though where our supplies we we, we run out of supply? Hopefully, you won't, because it'll be destroy a tree and plant a few more. For every one tree destroyed, plant another one or two. Yeah, that would be a good idea. For every tree we cut down, we're replacing it with about 10 others. If a method of generating electricity isn't sustainable, then there's no point us using it. We can take down a tree and then we can plant more, so we're not like damaging the environment, we're just helping with how long we can keep our fuels going. It's unlimited, as long as they keep using it from a sustainable forest. If they're chopping down trees to an extent where there's going to be no trees left, then there's no point really us looking into using this method. It need, we need to have something in place so that we can continue to provide electricity for years to come. The carbon dioxide that's given off by the plant gets intaken by the trees, which like helps the trees grow, so there's like no wasted, that's bad for the environment. Excellent, yeah, and as you said, there's, for every one tree planted, 
everyone can destroy. There's ten, there's ten more. Excellent, yeah, there's ten more planted, planted so it's they a need more carbon planted. dioxide to grow anyway. Yeah, excellent, so hopefully we'll be reducing the amount of carbon dioxide. When they're burned and they give off the carbon dioxide, it's not harming the environment either because it's going back into the trees and helping them grow and then that's just keeping the business going. So well done, I've came around and I've seen some really, really good answers to these questions. So well done, I'm very, very impressed. Okay. Can someone please tell me, we'll go for the second statement. Burning recycled wood is good for the environment. Do we agree with that? Do we not agree with that? What do you think? Do you think it's good for the environment? Does anyone want to respond to that point? What do you think? It is good for the environment because like, if, if, if the wind could be given to the, like, the biomass power station, it would just be on like a landfill where it would have to sort of rot away. But in this case, it's like getting used for a good cause. Yeah, excellent. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Does anyone else want to come in with anything else on that point? Or is everyone happy with that? Yep, Josh? Is it good for the environment because it's, um, you're not burning any like fuels like, um, like petrol and things like that? Like, things like that, that's they're bad for the environment, but um, wood's like good. Um, yeah, it's clean. Excellent, yep, so it's good and clean compared to burning something yeah. like a fossil fuel. Yeah. The little lad there with the freckles says that we need to use renewable sources of energy. Oh, do we agree with that we need to use renewable energy? Or are we fine as we are? What should we be doing? Anyone got any opinions on that? Yeah, because otherwise everything else will run out and we'll be forced to use it yes. instead. Excellent. Biomass is sustainable because we will never run out of trees. What kind of opinions do people have on that statement? But you have to keep planting the seeds, and if you don't, then it'll run out, so... Excellent. Yeah, we need to make sure we've got the, uh, the trees there. The trees are sustainable to an extent, because like, when a tree's um, being grown, it uses up a lot of land resources, and it takes time to regrow another one. So they've got to plan out where they're going to plant them. We've got to make sure we've got the trees there, because there's no point us using a thousand trees planting a thousand more, but then having no trees to sustain us in the time it takes for them trees to grow. So excellent, it's a really, really good point. We've got to make sure we've got the resources to be able to do this, to pull this off. So the last point I made was this process produces carbon dioxide, so it can't be carbon neutral. Does anyone want to come in with something about that statement? Uh, that's not true, because like every time, like when they burn the trees, the carbon dioxide that's given off, is taken in by the other trees that they need to grow. Excellent, yeah. So the carbon dioxide that is given off when we burn these trees is the same amount. If you imagine these 10 trees are going to take in 10 times that amount of carbon dioxide over their life. Okay. Fantastic work, guys. Right, the last thing I'd like you to do for the last 10 minutes is we are going to write a letter to SEMCORP. We're going to write a letter to the Vice President, uh, Miss Atkinson. And what I would like you to do is to say, I've started off your letter for you. I think that burning wood is a good slash bad idea because... I wanted the kids to summarise what they'd learnt and to really think about what they thought about renewable energy and what they thought about biomass. And I thought the letter format would be quite nice to uh, just to summarise everything we'd covered in the lesson. Why do you think it's a good thing? Because instead of using all the fossil fuels that we've got now and just running out of them, mm -hmm. we've got substitutes instead. What, what can you tell me about this thing? It's the same with the water power. Same with the solar power. Not going to run out. Excellent. What's the name for that? Renewable. 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 That's the one I was after. Fantastic. Do you think it's better than say solar power or? We'll have to have a pretty big sustainable forest for this, like because yes, so like it. it would take up a lot of area. It would, yeah, to have the forest, yeah, definitely. Do you think it's better than another type of uh, energy? See, if we talked about solar, is it better than solar power or? It is because solar power is quite expensive, mm -hmm. but so is this. But this is like. This has got more pluses to it, it can help grow more trees. Yep, and so the solar power, I think you have to like renew the panels after a certain... So on a, on a larger scale, this is probably better than solar power in terms of... Yeah. Because we've got this singular plant. Although we've had to plant the trees, if you imagine if it was solar power, we'd have to have millions of these cells yeah. for the same purpose. Right, does anyone want to read out what they've put for their letter? Or does anyone want me to read out their letter? So Josh has put in his letter that I think that burning wood is a good idea because it is clean when burning, excellent, but it still gives out carbon dioxide. So you've got a bit of a, 
bit of both sides there. But it's still better than fossil fuels, which are quite dirty when they burn. Okay. So fossil fuels do burn quite, uh, they could produce a lot of uh, products that we don't want when they burn. Has anyone else got another, anything else they want to add? And it's better to create energy with the wood than burn it in, in the incinerator or like put it in landfill. In this process, they're using them, that, that waste material for, for a good purpose, for a beneficial purpose. Right guys, it's only the end of the lesson. Thank you very much for all your help. I think the limiting factors on using wood as a biomass are only how much wood we can produce because, like we said before, it's got to be sustainable. Coal, oil and gas aren't sustainable. We, I mean, we can keep burning coal, but in the same sense, it's not going to last. Wood's one of the only real renewable energies in that we can plant more trees. And as long as we make an effort to plant more trees to keep this process going, then it's good for the environment and it is definitely a viable a viable method. Definitely, because it'd be a lot cheaper as well, as well as like saving the environment. I didn't mean that you could like recycle wood to make power and stuff and electricity. We live in this world and like, you don't want to destroy it.